Welcome everyone to a new series and we're going to take a look at Software Inc. Uh, we're going to use Alpha 8. I do believe Alpha 9 is on the test branch so I could use that but as I've never played the game before I don't want to make it necessarily more complicated because usually as the alphas go by in game they, they add more stuff to it so I'd like to have a go. Now I've watched a couple of videos on this so I'm not exactly the most knowledgeable person. For those of you that have been around for a while you know I did um, teach Vey to play um, with RimWorld because I didn't know and you guys helped me out quite a bit. So I'm going to do something similar with this. I'm not going to sit here umming and ahhing too much and scratching my head but any uh, help you guys can give me would be fantastic. But I think I should be able to work my way through it quite easily. So we're going to go for a new game. I've had a little look through so I kind of understand some of this. It does remind me very much of The Sims on a, a kind of a more low-key sort of uh, way. So company name, let's go with, uh, I don't know, they design, because we're going to be some form of design company. <laughs> Anonymous, wonderful. My name is Vapor. Uh, I am a male. No, oh, I changed to a female for a second. And what else have we got? So here, there's not many options. I think there is some mods. Um, so this on a Steam Workshop, but I've not actually kind of gone in there and had a look at anything because I don't really want to add stuff to the game straight away without knowing what I'm doing because all that's going to do is complicate things or make things easier so technically I'm not really going to learn how to play the game um, what else have we got in those eyes I'm not too too fussed about these sort of things I think the face isn't too bad and I'm not, I'm not even sure how much of the face you'll actually see uh, once you're actually playing. So let's have a look. We got that, uh, we got torso, we've done that. I don't think I want glasses. So colours. So skin, that's fairly pasty, that will do nicely. Hair, um is this facial hair it is. Let's see. Facial hair tends to be a little bit darker, doesn't it? Okay, that didn't seem to make much of a difference. <laughs> Fair enough. Torso I'm guessing is my shirt. Oh my blouse even. Interesting. Oh, so we can have a little play around with this. I'm going to go with a little bit of, like a grey. I'll stick to the white shirt. I don't mind that. Legs. What about something that looks a little bit like Dedham, maybe? Um, something like that should do. And shoes. I do quite like brown shoes. So we'll try and get kind of a browny sort of colour. That will do nicely. Okay. So... We have personality, we've got gener generous and optimistic, and I'm guessing these affect things. A hard worker always gives 110%, but a fast learner will pick up new skills more easily. Oh, so, oh, you can pick two. You see, and I've not actually got that far into it to realise. So, generous, flirt, naive, stubborn, introvert, extrovert, goofy, dramatic, short-tempered, cocky, snob, and mean. I'd like to think I was generous. I wouldn't say I was very optimistic. I can be a bit of a flirt, but... Hmm. I'm not too sure. Naive, stubborn. Introvert. Independent, social. I am kind of an introvert. Okay, a lazy employee will try, um, try to get out of work as much, but whereas a stressed employee will quickly feel overworked. Okay. Does that really matter for your character, I wonder? Because you are the main person. Short-tempered, cocky, snub, goofy. Somewhere kind of in the middle there, and hard worker. I think I think we'll just go with flirt, because I think it's funny. Although that does... Which ones actually help you become a fast learner? Naive, stubborn, no. Introvert. Extrovert. Hmm. Snob. Interesting. None of them are really making it go up very high. Okay, we'll stick with that. Whatever. Um, I think we can adjust this. There doesn't seem... I think I can... Oh, right. They do all kind of balance out. So, I'm going to be the lead. But let's lower that down because you can um, you can study in the game. So, you can become better. And I'm probably going to go with... Actually, if we can kind of balance these. Not too bothered about these ones. Because we're going to be making our own thing. Specialization. Um, design. Can I help? All oh, right, so we can change it. So two D, two 
2D audio, 2D art and audio. Let's go with audio. Audio design. Hmm. Let's go with 2D. Would that make sense? To design and code it, be good at it. I suppose 2D art would make sense as well, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's just stick to that. Okay. So we're going to go on free play. Starting money. 6,000. I don't know how far this goes, but just... Wow, we don't want that much. Just at some of the Let's Plays I've seen, around this level seems to be what some people start with. I'm not too sure what I'm doing, so... We'll, we'll go with that in case I make some mistakes. I'm not too sure what the difficulty changes, so we'll leave it on medium. Uh, forest City, Desert, and Tundra. Let's go to Forest, I think. I think that's everything, isn't it? Name, company name. Yep, yeah, let's go for it. This game is seriously missing some music, though. There is, in, in the settings, there is a volume uh, for music, but I'm not, I'm not hearing anything, so let's, let's turn this off. Oh, we have some sound effects, at least. There is that. Um, so I think I will probably add some music in the background. I don't know. Because it, it does seem awfully quiet. So maybe something like this. Yeah, that's good. We'll go with that. Maybe I should have kept that tutorial. Click here when you're ready for your first day. How do you pause? The space pause the game? No. Tab. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll use the tutorial. Oh, there's my land. That's what I was waiting for. So the game is automatically paused while we are in here. So I've seen some of this stuff, so I kind of, like I say, I understand some of it. Double grid size. Anchor grid to another object. So I think the gist of the game essentially, is to make your own company and be the best. So let's take someone like Apple or Microsoft, probably more Microsoft in this case because it's software, and, and, and become really good, or Blizzard, somebody like that, really big games company. It depends what you want to do. So I don't know if I'm going to suck at this or be good at this. It'll be interesting. However, there is buildings. So <laughs> whenever there's buildings, there's always a chance to decorate, which is what I love to do. So... Construct a room or construct a rectangle room. Well, let's go to rectangle because it's quite easy. It does look a little bit like The Sims to a degree. So let's think about this. Um, that's cost me 3,000. Wow. Okay. So we'll take that as a room. Or should I say the main room? Maybe an entrance room. We're going to need... A toilet as well, so somewhere for them to go. I don't think this room has to be too big. Let's do something like that. I'm not too sure. Keep it nice and simple. I don't know what that is. This room is not accessible. Okay, that's fine. So we've got a sliding glass door and a double sliding glass door. Well, let's go with a let's go with a single one. It's cheaper. It doesn't matter at the start. Well, I don't know what I've just done there. Oh, there's right click options. I have to remember that. Um, small windows, large windows. Let's um let's chuck a couple of windows in. I would say it would save on the on the uh, on the electricity bill, <laughs> making it lighter. And we got a small. What is a wide window? Hmm. I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to put that in the toilet. Okay. And then we have different doors. So we have got a standard door. So I'm guessing that's just an internal door. Put the toilet here. Excellent. I've got to stop right clicking. Hint: You can place. So you can keep placing objects and rooms in build mode by holding shift. This also works when duplicating objects. Okay. Excellent. So I think that's the basics. I don't think you have to put a roof on it or anything. So there is some other bits. So we've got doors, elevators, elevators, interesting. Fence, gates, stairs, walls, windows. Oh, that's just a construction. Now we have the furniture. Ah, bathroom. So we have a a poop machine, a toilet. Okay, I thought they might have been sinks, <laughs> but it clearly isn't. So there's no 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 accounting for hygiene there. Um, we need a light in there, and we'll put a light in the middle here as well. I think we'll just put one. How should we go with these? All these different things. So they affect the environment. I'm guessing red isn't good. So we want something... Okay, so that one just is good lighting. That one improves the environment a little bit. Durability, six months. 
Oh. So they do need to be repaired and things. Interesting. Break room. I'm not too sure if we need to bother with anything like that just yet. Canteen, common. So these are, are these common objects. I think they are, maybe. Kitchen, meeting room. Wow, there's so many things. Office, here we go. Inbox. Ah, work booth. So now this is interesting because obviously I like decorating now. There's, it seems with this game that objects have an actual effect. So that gives it a room boost of effectiveness plus it makes the environment better. So why not? Let's just uh, let's chuck a clock in here. And we have some computers. What about a desk? Last table, table, it's, it's actual desks. There must be. Outdoors, reception, server, utility, central heating, AC units. This fan was designed to cool a room down to accommodate servers, not people. Industrial strength air conditioning units cooled down entire building complexes has to be placed above ground. Oh, but it makes a lot of noise. I feel like it needs its own little room. We'll have a look at that in a second. Server we don't need, I don't think. Heating, we're probably going to need a radiator. So we'll chuck you in here. What we got here? Reception desk. I don't think we need that. Paintings. So office. Where is the desk? Are these really the desks? Maybe that's all that's available. Because as time goes by, we're in 1980, so potentially that's it. It seems, <laughs> it seems very minimalist. Let's see. Um, cheap chair, office chair. Well, let's go for comfort. He's going to be sat here for quite a bit. And what have we got here? Old computer. Oh, 19. There you go. See, these different years for this stuff. So we're going to have a cheap and cheerful machine. How do you rotate? Is it R? No. Click and drag to rotate your furniture. Perfect. What's this? The temperature will vary a lot in this room. Add temperature regulators and remember windows leak. Okay. Cool. So what have we got here? Calculators are programmers best friends. Organize especially for people who haven't heard of email. So that's for marketing. Artists. Skill. Let's um let's put a bookcase in. Gotta be careful of money. I don't want to go too crazy with it. So programmer, can we, oh, we can put that on the desk. There's loads and loads and loads of things we can actually go for in this. <laughs> I do love it when there's, when there's lots of choices. So ventilation. I don't know if we should go with that or air conditioning. Maybe we'll go with AC. Let's go back to the decoration. Let's build a, uh, bit a bit a bit a bit a We need a door. Well, we will need a door. So if we put, that there and then just build a small room just off the back because noise seems to be a problem but it doesn't say it just says it provides air conditioning to the whole building which is fantastic which means it can go anywhere and we don't need to route the pipes or anything like that we've got roads clone tool building blueprints fantastic i think i think that's all we need Dare I say it. So build mode, does that take us out of build mode? It does. Okay, so what have we got up here? We've got our money. We've got the time, the date. Business reputation. So click here when you're ready for your first day. So I'm guessing that will take us to the end of the day. Yeah, skip un unused time. So we've made no money. What have we got down here? Develop software. Is there a way of space, not pause? Tab is to take to the build. I have to find out what the hotkeys are. Can we... Here we go. Manage employees. Um, not now. Okay, so this is me. Pause the game. Just one second. So change team, change role. I'm guessing any role. Yep. Fire, select all, <laughs> educate, and details. Can I do anything with me? Is that it? What was if I click details? Okay, so we find we find out some stuff about me. That's brilliant. What about what else have we got in here? Hire employees, manage teams. Arrival at eight. Departure at four. Hmm. Let's go with let's go with five. Vacation in July. 100% compatibility. 
I'm guessing that's 100% compatibility with myself. <laughs> so that's fine. Manage stuff, finances. Let's, let's get the game going again. Stocks, wow, loans, software. There's loads of different things to look into. This is going to be a bit of a mind job at first. Research and patent features to make royalties off your competitors. Ah, servers, your releases, contract work. Uh, not now. Okay, so this is, I'm guessing, the things that we can actually do to make a little bit of money. So embedded systems, required quality, horrible. Takes recommended team size for one, I could do this. Scope, small. They give me £625 up front, and they'll give me 5000 when it's done. And if I don't do it, I'm going to get fined almost £2,000. Cost per bug, £31. Okay, let's, let's accept work. Try to not now. We're gonna we're gonna learn this our, our own way. Oh, here I come! I just realised something. He's just dirtied the floor the moment he walked in. So wow, he's gonna get to it straight away. But let me just quickly. Is there a way of changing the colours? Because <laughs> these walls are dreadfully boring. What have we got here? Room colours. Aha. Uh -huh. Can we come out of here a second? Can we collect? Yes, we can select them all. It's not selected the whole building, so I wasn't too sure there. So, oh, room construction material. Ah, very fancy. Actually, I don't mind that being white. That's fine. Interior. That'll do nicely. Floor. What's some floorboards? Something like that. Let's go with that one. Okay, brilliant. So, how do we change the colours? We do it that way. I like that a little bit. A little bit lighter. Interior. Is this going to change every single room? It is. Ah. Hmm. I might go with that with a interesting kind of pea green if we can get there. That will do nicely. Floor. Ooh. Something like that. I'm guessing we can do individual rooms if I really wanted to, but that, <laughs> that will do nicely for now. That's brilliant. I really love it. I love I love being able to customize things. So, this is the um, this is the job we've just taken. It's a contract, isn't it? It is. So we're doing something for Calfat Cara Inc. So it's embedded systems. So we're now currently designing one month left. I think each day is a month, isn't it? So we need to do it before the end of the day. So if I speed the game up just a little bit, now he's going to go home. I'm assuming at five, because that's the time I set, but he's currently designing it, so I can't really do anything while he's designing. I say he, I. Once he's designed it, what's the next step? I'm guessing some kind of bug testing or develop. Is this is this finished? Is he done? I'm guessing so, so let's develop. Uh, not now. So one month left, okay. Is that it? Oh no, he's still working on it. What's it actually doing now? Progress. There is progress, but no, what does promote me? Well, I see the thing changing colour, so we must be doing something. Okay, and then promote. Why does it say delay? Are you sure you want to end the day for end the delay phase? Ending the delay phase prematurely will often extend the beta phase due to the amount of additional bugs. Oh no. Okay. Oh. Oh, is that it? One bug? Is he just being lazy or? Ah. <laughs> as simple as that. I wonder what they thought of it. Is there any. Yeah, that's fine. Can we. Do we get a review? Do we know. How upcoming releases, software titles, all companies, deals, distribution channels. It would be interesting to know what they actually thought of that. Okay, that was, let's disable this. Well, that was fairly simple. What about this one? Um, one month, one person. It's a lot of money. May as well just take it, eh? I think. Let's take you. So it's just me. So I think I'm going to do is going to build up some money. So we got a little bit from that, and we will just hire a couple more people as we go by. And we'll start doing some different things. I'm not too sure what my end goal is, because I think there is 
various different things you can actually do in this game. Um, you can develop actual games. I think there's servers as well. I'm not sure if you can just be a hosting company so you can hire out your servers. A bit like the cloud, I suppose. But the end, the end goal is to actually make some money. So what I'm thinking is I'm probably going to make about 10 episodes of this. See how you guys like it. If, if you guys enjoy it and it's enough of a following, then I will probably... We got to develop. Um, yeah, I will. I will probably stick to it for a little bit. We might even try the next alpha. But I just wanted to have a go because it's something I've seen probably about a year ago. But the um, but the alphas have have kind of gone by. So it's about time. Is that it? One bug. <laughs> it's, that's that's sim it's really simple. I don't know how much I cost today, but I'm making some money. Founded in 1980 have no products. We're worth 35,000. Oh, it's my own stocks. Huh. What's this? Insurance policies, loans, stocks. So I'm actually paying out some money to insurance. Is that... Funds and insurance account. Life insurance, health insurance, pension per employee. Ah, I wonder if that makes the employees more happy and more likely to stay working for you. Quite possibly. What's about research? nothing to research so if I go for six one hundred six three two five let's accept that although I didn't actually read what we needed to do but yeah that's fine let's bring us back to the next day it's automatically going at that brilliant and then that now this seems fairly simple at this stage but I'm gonna guess as the time goes by, okay, I didn't get all the money. I'd, I'd be interested to know why. Probably something wasn't great about it, but it doesn't seem to give you any information. Which is slightly unfortunate, I suppose. But I don't think... Oh, did you see that car going by? That looked like a Lamborghini or something. One day. <laughs> one day I'll get a car like that. So this seems big enough probably to have another person in here. I'm not too sure about the floor. It, it does to me look like it's getting a little bit dirty. I need to accept another contract. 13,000. Two, uh, two months, one person. Let's go for it. Oh, it needs to be mediocre. Aha. Uh -huh. That's probably why I'm not getting all the money. But I'm gaining some reputation, so that is good. So I guess if I go for the sort of uh, contracts that don't require too much... So they don't mind if they get a really bad product. That would be fantastic. This is going to take two months. Which in essence is two days. But I think... yeah. Now the goal is there. So the question is, that line is there. He's just doing general. What does that mean? That's what I need to figure out. He's done the 2D. He's gone home. Once it gets to this point, does that mean we can then move on? That's what I need to know. Because it just says general. I'm not too sure if that needs to be full or not. It doesn't really... Let me skip this. It doesn't really give me any clues. And the day goes by. Let's go to develop, see what happens. So this is due to be done today. He's never going to do it in that time. I'm, I'm guessing that is definitely where we need to go to. Yep. Day's almost over. One month left. Is that today, though? Oh, last month. So today is the last day. Let's see what happens. He's not going to do it in time. <laughs> I'm probably going to get fined ridiculous amounts of money now. Oh, my goodness. Goal. Oh, the goal is there. So there we go. 100% promote. Uh, let's just release it. 12,000. Okay, so it's fairly simple. I probably should have technically gone for something a little bit easier so you got horrible horrible mediocre bad so this one here <laughs> pretty much they don't really care what they get so if I take that one let's advance the time speed it up so it's fairly easy at this stage to make money the floor is filthy though develop fixed one bug. Is that the only bug? 
Yeah, see, I got most of the money. I think that line is definitely the point at which you can kind of do that. This floor is filthy, though. My goodness. He's not used to toilet once, which I find interesting. <laughs> and now he's just sat here doing nothing because he's got nothing else to do. But we've got, we got all sorts of features that we can go through. I mean, I could start developing my own stuff, but game assets, but I don't think there's any point. And that could be bad. What if I start doing that today? Will it count? As um, when I say will it count, will it will it count as one day, or will it will it will it still give me tomorrow? Yeah, last month. So I could have started it. Remote, one bug. <laughs> so you technically you can do almost multiple jobs in one day. I suppose that needs. That's good, good, great, good. Horrible. Okay, I guess we're going to take that one. Well, let's speed the game up. So it's 100%. 100%. One bug. Job done. Oh, that's quite easy. I know there's more to it than that. So let's just go look at it. We've got developing software. So there's all sorts of things we can do in here. We've got a product name. Um, operating system, 2D editor, audio tools, so there's all sorts of different things that we can do, how much you want to um, charge for it, whether it's on a console or computer, um, whether it's one of ours, there's so many different things, but there's only me at the moment, so I'm more than likely going to need at least another person, um, someone that complements the skills that I currently have, so if we take a look at myself, for example, um, how do I do it, is it this one? I'm on the oh, there we go. I'm on the core team currently, but most of my skills, are, well, my base skill is in design and coding, but 2D and a little bit of system with a little bit of audio. I'm not very good at art, and some coding and audio isn't very good at all. <laughs> so I guess I'm probably more of a, a designer and a coder than anything else. So we're going to need an artist more than likely, and probably someone that's quite good at audio coding. That's the sort of person I think we're going to have to hire. And then we have to figure out whether or not they are compatible with us as well. So always come back for the next day of work, I think. Has he? Oh no, there goes another nice car. How many of you can hire cleaners? Manage staff. Oh, you can hire cleaning. 600 per month. Well, I don't think we're quite there. Maintenance, 900 per month. IT support, that's interesting. Oh, so we can just... To a £30 an hour, arrive at 6, depart at 12, is that? Can we change this? Uh, I guess that's it, okay. So they're going to clean it tomorrow night, that'll be now, I suppose. Interesting. Well, I don't know what you guys think, you're going to have to let me know because, say, this is the, the, the my kind of first look at a game like this. I've not played a, a management game in this sense, um, so it's kind of new new to me, and new to the channel for sure. Here, oh, here's the cleaner, brilliant. I don't know what happens once she's finished. Does she just kind of linger around, or does she go home? Do I have to keep paying her to that point? What's she doing now? She's still cleaning, I think. Oh, she's gonna automatically leave. Yep. Oh, fantastic. So I don't, <laughs> you're left to pay for what you use. That's actually quite good. I like that. Okay, well, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want me to make some more, well, I'm going to anyway. I'm going to make about 10. <laughs> um, and if you enjoy it, please give me a like and a comment because otherwise I will not have a clue whether you're interested or not. But until next time, as always, take care. <laughs>